So, as we get started, we've got five presentations. We're going to roll through what we do have with us. Hot off the engraving press. <laughs> this nice. is the itchy. This is what you're going for today. Not only that, but a good grade and the pride and, and uh, esteem from all of your colleagues. Okay. So we uh, we'll get started. <laughs> Uh, my name is John Motley, and I'm out here in Boulder, Colorado, trying to talk to people about switching over from bottled water to a plastic water bottle. <laughs> I a, think the people that are most connected to the environment are the ones that are actually outside living in the environment. You know, the people that spend a lot of time outdoors hiking or climbing or even hunting. I feel way more op optimistic. It was like a culmination of things like the thesis and this class and like everything else that I've done in in this last semester that I feel like has given me a much more renewed sense of hope for the future um, because we have this great new tool of communication that I don't think many of us had before like making films and talking to people um, and communicating our ideas in a different way. And I think that more than like f feeling bad or good, it's going to be really useful when we move into, I know, our jobs or whatever we're doing to like continue to make change happen. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think this class did a really good idea of basically showing how you can use different multimodal compositions to effectively communicate ideas about climate change and specifically focusing on audiences. So it's, it really made me think about like every time you're presenting something, you're presenting it to a specific audience. And so you always need to have that in mind when whatever you're trying to do. And I just think this class did a really good idea of opening that up and, and really yeah, just sharing dang it, just like thoughts about climate change. So it's really good. Um, you know, as an EMVS major for four years, the way we communicate is write papers. And it's awesome to say, like, I can go home now and have an idea, and I might not produce the film myself, but I can go to a film major and be like, I've got this 
awesome idea. Like, what do you think about it? And then, you know, so it's the, the combination of ideas and the different forms of like expressing my ideas that I think really is awesome. Yeah. Just the fact that to have two different professors in one classroom was extremely effective. Um, coming from a science and social justice ethnic studies background, um, it was really neat to see those two places actually combine in the same space. Um, it really allowed for um, anyone in the class to relate to either person, but it seems like I bet everyone in this class can relate to both professors. Um, Max being like the science, climate change, um, very connected, very caring. Beth the same way with theater, like really making us express ourselves and the combination of the two. I even see it within both of you, you bringing out more science and climate change stuff and you being more expressive. I, we all really affected each other um, in this space and um, I hope that gets highlighted. Um, yeah. <laughs> We have the second runner-up, a.k.a. third place, with a great innovative project. <laughs> I'm using it. I'm using it. Goes to Alberta. Alberta was a film that uh, was shown on Monday as well. So, and rolling with this a little bit. See, I'm learning from Beth. <laughs> second place. First runner up comes to, goes to environmental hunterists. Yeah. <laughs> and number one rated film across the expert panels, across everybody, is the very last film we saw, Fossil Fuel. 